Hello, and welcome back to another edition of CLC TV. This is our last newscast before spring break. Our first story is about a special grant the college received to get some exciting new technology. CLC recently got a big tech upgrade, including virtual reality and 360 cameras. Initially, um, we were part of a grant called the Going Places Grant um, that other Minnesota State Community Technical Colleges um, were a part of. This grant allowed CLC to purchase two sets of 30 Google Expeditions, multiple 360 cameras, and an Oculus Rift headset. Underwater swimming with sharks to the International Space Station, all the way to like a molecular level of looking at cells and the bloodstream and stuff like that. So there's a wide variety of applications. Students found a way to beat the cold last week. Close to 30 people braved the elements in pursuit of Olympic gold on the treacherous snow tube run. On Monday, the 24th, Student Life hosted a free night of snow tubing at Mount Skeagol as part of Snow Days at CLC. Students from both Brainerd and Staples campus came to the event. It was a perfect way to enjoy the outdoors on a brisk winter night. If you're not in the mood for snow, there were plenty of indoor activities on both campuses too. Here's our vlogger, John Grogan, with more. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. So right now I'm at the Central X College at the Staples campus. And in this vlog, I'm gonna be showing you guys and talking about all the fun activities that's happening on February 24th, which is today, through February 28th. So today there is a grocery bingo going on here at the Staples campus. 073, 073. On Tuesday, February 25th, there was a dodgeball event at the Staples Community Center, but that unfortunately was canceled. On Wednesday, February 26th, there is a pool tournament at the Central X College Staples campus and the winner has received a $40 gift card to Buffalo Wild Wings. On Thursday, February 27th, there was the Club Olympics going on at the Central X College Brainerd campus in the cafeteria. Michael Surfling was the one who found the Staples Campus Medallion. And there's your rundown of all the events that has happened through February 24th through February 28th. With snow days coming to an end, one lucky student has found the medallion on Brainerd Campus. This student happens to be one of our own videographers, Richard Hartung. Oh wow, I can't believe I'm in on the CLC TV. It's uh, great, to, great to have you here. So tell me, how'd you find the medallion? So the first clue wasn't much help at all. Uh, the second clue was that, like a hangman puzzle, and the beginning words were almost uh, in the or on the, and then it was a five-letter word with the middle letter being N. Uh, I couldn't figure it out at the time. Uh, the next day, the clue was a song. It was uh, him singing in the pines, in the pines. So. It was obviously a tree on the campus, so I went around and looked at every tree, high, low, uh, taped to the tree on the ground in the snow in the branches. It, eventually I found it with a foot of snow in my shoes, uh, but yeah, it was a really fun time and 
It was a cool experience. Well, good job. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. In sports, it was the Region 13 Semifinals MCAC State Tournament held in Coon Rapids and Thief River Falls, Minnesota. The bad news is that our playoffs just came to a finish, but the good news is that it was a great season. Sadly, both our Raider basketball teams didn't take home the trophy in the MCAC State Playoffs. But we can take a look back on both our teams' seasons. The women's team lost their playoff game against Northland with a final score of 74-52, ending the season with a final record of 9 wins and 16 losses. Our men's team made it to the Region 13 semifinals. Sadly, however, they lost to Rochester Community and Technical College with a final score of 83-80, to ending a fantastic season with a record of 24 wins and 5 losses. The men's coach, Jim Russell, was bestowed with a coaching award for winning the Northern Division. Even though we didn't win, we showed what it means to be a Raider. Staying behind in Minnesota for spring break, here's Blake Cannell's five staycation destinations for your amazing week off. Here are your top five staycation destinations. Brainerd, Minnesota. Perks of being here, you get to stay close to home if you're around the area. Uh, there's lots of hiking and biking trails to go on, and if you don't feel like going outside, you can definitely just binge watch some shows at home. Our next destination is St. Cloud. There are many activities you can enjoy down in St. Cloud. You can go to Lake George, you can take a stroll through historic downtown, and if you're of age, they do have multiple breweries for you to visit. Next is Minneapolis. You can visit several museums, like the Heart Art Museum or the Russian Museum of Art. Uh, you can get your shopping fix. Uh, there's a bunch of different malls down there, and you can get to try out different restaurants as well. Next on our list is the Mall of America, where you can really get your shopping fix done. Uh, they have attractions like Nickelodeon Universe, uh, there's four stories to explore with a movie theater, they have arcades, and you can definitely go to the Sea Life Adventure as well, which is a definitely great time. And last but not least, we have Minnehaha Falls. Down near the cities, you can enjoy plentiful trails uh, all across the waterfalls, admire several waterfalls, and lose yourself in nature. Watching. Please follow our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter accounts, which all share the name of CLC Videography. Our next show will be on March 26 at 12.30 p.m. You can watch the show live in the CLC cafeteria or on your own device. We hope you have a wonderful spring break. This is Kieran McFadden signing out.